Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Will's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this reading here is for the 21st of August 2020 and it is for the sign of Scorpio. That being said, this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so please do take whatever resonates with you and just leave the rest of it aside. If however you would like to have your own personal reading, you're in search of guidance, you're in search of answers, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and uh, you can also look into the YouTube drop box and you will find the different types of readings, the price list and how to proceed with a booking with me. So that being said, if you do enjoy my channel and you um, have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment to click the subscribe button to show your support and to show your encouragement to the channel and to myself. So that being said, let's begin this reading. This reading here is all about uh, love and uh, this is a little bit about the past we're going to go to the present we're going to go to the future we're going to try and find out what to look out for what kind of messages what kind of guidance we can get so with no further ado let's begin I'm using two different oracle decks here there are two fairy oracle decks but one is an oracle and the other one is a guidance so we're going to begin with the very first one here which is all about your past. And this one here is something wild. Now the something wild card is all about a change. Okay. This is about receiving and it's about manifestation, manifesting, I'm sorry, changes that are going to be around you. So it's very, very important right now at this moment to, uh, well, this was a little bit into the past here, so it's not right now at this moment. Um, it was really important for you and I don't know if you did it. I don't know if you've, if you've done this and if not, we're going to have to modify a little bit to work on it so your present can be up to date. So. This is really about you receiving messages and acting conforming to the messages that you do receive. So if you received um, messages of this relationship not going all so well, or maybe of it breaking up, then you needed to do the consequences that went with it. Okay, so this is all about receiving messages and it's about acting upon them. Um, so with this something wild card, I feel as though, yes, there is a change and there is a healing that was necessary. So hopefully you did do the change. So you did the modifications, you expand your flexibility for change, and you're going to enjoy the vitality that life has ahead of you right now because of this change. And it's very important to be able to change. But what I'm going to say, if you are going to change, change for yourself, change because you believe that you should change. Don't change because somebody else says that you should change because they find it's not appropriate whatever you're doing or how you are change for you and for nobody else I do feel as though there was a period of healing also so this is really about rebalancing your whole um, your whole system okay this is really about the healing process so this here was the past we're going to move over to the present I have earth element I have inspiration and serenity. So the um, earth element here is really all about you being grounded, okay? Let's not be up into the dreams and to the illusions. And, no, this happened. We healed from it. Perfect. Now we are grounded. Now we are trying to figure out exactly what it is that we want. Now we're trying to see... Um, I just see the beauty of everything that is around us and it's really about taking the steps one by one one day at a time to see exactly where we're going to go while being grounded while being there and enjoying perhaps nature if you do like to go out enjoying your relationship this is really about being grounded in your relationship all also don't make yourself any um any illusions or don't make yourself any dreams that are unattainable because you are not going to be grounded anymore. I, but it is a great moment while you're grounded to find the inspiration for exactly what it is that you want. So you need to be open to a world of endless possibilities and you need to keep the serenity in it all. So you need to embrace the peacefulness of that energy vibration of just being in a state of serenity. So this here is your, um, your present. And if I'm going Going to the future I have discovery so discovery is all about um, figuring out the uh, potentials all the beautiful potentials and the opportunities that you have be before you and that you have into this relationship now I see as possibilities and opportunities I see happiness and passion so that denotes a nice relationship um, so this is really about you know happiness is an overall state of complete being it's being yourself it's being happy it's acknowledging what is going on it's being happy 
with the relationship. It's accepting things as they are and accepting yourself and having your self-worth at the same time. But very necessary into all this discovery and figuring out where exactly you're going to go onto this journey in life, where your partner's going to go, where you're both going to go together. Meanwhile, don't forget to add some passion into your relationship. You will see it will change everything. So that being said, this does conclude your reading. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope I was able to bring you some interesting messages. Um, if you would like a private reading, a personal reading, romancefultarot at gmail.com. Please don't forget to subscribe and I wish you a fantastic day. Thank you so much for being there.